Mr. President, we have to talk about this now. Let's wait until things settle. It's too soon. On the contrary, sir, it's too late to do anything else. The diversion must be initiated. We need to organize certain measures in order to prevent the inevitable press intervention. We can't trust the entire media to appreciate the situation. What you're suggesting is unacceptable. I didn't like the man. But I can't allow this atrocity to go without some form of investigation. Yes, and there will be an investigation under executive supervision. And what about the people responsible? They're still in place, sir. Special Intelligence think they know who most of the key players are. At the appropriate time, we'll make it clear to them in no uncertain terms that we know of their involvement. They will try again. Some strange kind of justice. They won't get what they wanted. That at least means everything they have done has been in vain. I wonder if that's true. We're talking about me agreeing to innocent people being hurt to protect these bastards. And that's all the incentive you can provide. Remember, you owe your present position to those people, sir. So you think I should protect my benefactors? You're incredible. Mr. President, we didn't create this thing. It is our job to advise you of the grave situation if the facts come out and sweep up the pieces. I'm afraid it falls to you to decide the best response. This is what the job's about. Don't patronize me. You're not indispensable, you know. Sorry, sir. But what I'm trying to say is... I understand perfectly the responsibilities of this office. I am also aware that if the Hawks and the opposition camp got wind of a right-wing cabal being responsible for his death, they might very well conclude that this country was on the road to civil war. If the information were to be released to the public, that could very well happen. They might also persuade your opposite number to attack this country rather than wait for us to do it. Not even stage a coup of their own. I doubt that would happen. Oh, well, why not? In any case, they might naturally assume you were involved. After all, you seemingly had the most to gain, and your antipathy towards his brother is no secret. If I were as paranoid as some of their advisors, I could quite well believe that you would be the hawk to light the tinder box. Exactly. You see, I do understand what's at stake. And I have to agree to your proposals. And if a few innocents get in the way, then for the sake of our collective security, they will have to be sacrificed. Innocents laid down to protect the guilty. Just don't rationalize this crime away as if it were nothing. You and I know very well the outcome of the decision we're taking here today. I don't shirk it, but I will never stop regretting its necessity. You have no alternative, sir. <laughs> That's a fact. You know what? It doesn't make it any easier. With all due respect, sir, your responsibility is to protect the country. Very well, it's agreed. Expedience evil out. It's tough on these little people caught up in a plan to avert possible scenarios. It might not be necessary to take extreme actions, but if there are any witnesses who persist in contradicting the official findings of the report, well then... Let's face it. The only way to stop people talking is fear. You know, some examples will be necessary. Just a matter of how many. Sir, the special committee will set this up. No written authorization will come from this office. It will be just the same as any other special op. Except it's in our own country. I guarantee you will not be implicated in any way. That way we can make certain they can't come back and blackmail you into authorizing some other dubious activity. I'll instruct them that the men hired will be unconnected with any government body. They won't know why or who has hired their services. It will be outside agencies who commission their services. Nothing in writing. Outside agencies all the way. Mm -hmm. 
outside agencies all the way.